Gambia was one of our stops while traveling through Africa. It's 6 a.m. and the city of Banjul is about to wake up. After a long trip and facing major technical difficulties with our car, we had to start looking for a mechanics workshop. After finally finding one, what we ended up with was far more than a repaired car. The workshop came along with a spellbinding story to tell. My name is Heinrich Walter Hanke. I'm from, from West Germany, Kiel. We came to the Gambia to open a school for mechanics. We realized that young Africans are very interested in learning jobs, very interested in, in learning skills to support their families. So we created MECSEC to make this possible. MECSEC stands for Mechanical Skills Acquisition Center. These courses here are for four years. They are completely free for the students. Every need is paid for them. So. Poor families have the possibility to send their children for a better education. And we like to change the mindset of uh, doing things. We are rebuilding cars from absolute scrap, we try to make them as new as possible so they understand that just buying something new is not really the answer, but keeping it maintained and going is really what, what helps in life and would be very good for, for Africa, in our belief. The school is up and running since 2004 and it gets bigger and better every year. Uh, we try always to update the workshop. Uh, we are building right now an, an engine room that is not outside in the sun and the dust. We try to keep a very high standard in tools. We like to have the latest technology and we would love to get bigger. This is why we are, we are of course looking for donations because to get funds is very difficult. We use this money to pay food for the boys, to, to buy them whatever is in their needs, to keep the place running. What I get here is what you cannot get outside there. Because you see, here you are taught to stand by your own, do the job by your own and to ask any questions you need to ask it helps you to stand outside there. And all this come from free. This is one of the most important place to have a good foundation to start with. We remember the beginnings, everything was just very messy because most of the boys here, they come from really poor, poor backgrounds. I mean, they just have a bed and a little box where they can put their clothes on and suddenly they are completely overwhelmed with the workshop with hundreds and hundreds of tools and it is very hard for them but we try our very very best. Talking to Heine, getting the insider's perspective, we were amazed by his personality and the way he shared his passion with others. If you look at Heine, you know, many people see him as a white man, but I see him more or less as a mentor because he had the person to tell you, to give you all the opportunity you need to stand up to learn things by yourself. When I left here, using the principles he gave me and to be straightforward with what you are doing, concentrate and finish what you need to do, it helps me a lot. Exposed to the world's development, Gambia is facing a transformation. Now it's getting harder to keep up without proper education. We left Mexac with a feeling of upliftment, having seen the work of ordinary people trying to make their hometown a better place. We have so many people running out of this country because before you could live here with what you have, and now you have to have to live here. But we really believe that the future is here. The country needs skilled people who build this place to be a better place. It's so important to give knowledge to the people who come out of school, and I think it's very important to invest in it. This is why we equip the students with a full toolbox, with their own uh, laptops, with diagnostic equipment, repair manuals, and we have created a few mechanics who are really supporting their families. Most of the questions when I have, I still run back here 
to get solved and when I need special testers or special tools I also run back here to get it. So this is still now my place and I brought some few boys here also to learn exactly like I did. If somebody would have told me like 25 years ago I will sit in Africa and we repair really really bad cars I would have laughed at him. <laughs> oh I would say I'm pretty much a hobby Gambian and I love it. I'm, I, I love to be here.